Here we have a patient today that is getting a PIV placed. I'm going to show you guys a good angle for insertion. And we're going to show you the best cephalic position. So we're going to scan here for you guys. So as I'm scanning down, I see a beautiful cephalic right here, right at the top. Right about there. Let me see if I have. Look at that. Right there. So I'm looking for a bifurcation. That's pretty good catheter to vein ratio. That's a pretty good sizable vein for 22 gauge. Now, as I assess the patient's vein, I'm looking for a bifurcation or a conjoining. And look right there. So at this point, there's a bifurcation. And if we track this vein, it's going to the AC. And then it conjoins with this one right here. So there's a dilution that's going to happen at this point. So there's diffusion here. So the medication is going to be split between these two veins. And then let's follow this big one. And look at that. There's going to be a massive, oh, never mind. Nice little juke ah, right here. At this junction, there's going to be a massive dilution and conjoining of the veins right about there. So there's a huge massive dilution here and a point of diffusion of the medication here. So I want the tip of the catheter to end right about here. So we're going to mark that. Let us know where a midpoint is, about, about where we want it to end. My mark is running out of, out of ink. So right there. And so now we've got to mark and get an idea of how long this catheter is. This is a 6.5 centimeter catheter. So this catheter, it's about 6.5 centimeters, so it'll, the ter tip will terminate about here. And so we are going to insert where the hub is right about here. So we want the vein to enter at about here and then the tip of the catheter to terminate here. Okay. Let's see how, make sure this is nice and far away. There we go. So it looks like she's, it's wrapping around this way. Good. So we're going to start the insertion at about here. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to do a quick pass of chlorhexidine. Remember with chlorhexidine, you want back and forth motion. That way you can kill the bacteria. Gonna locate that vein again. Right about here is where we're gonna enter. And then we're going to go about this way. Okay. Right about there. Are you ready? to the left, so we're going to go right, enter it about here. Do a little sting. Snagged on the other side, so I'm going to pull back just a little bit. Continue on. There we go. Okay. Some 
basically wrapping around, leave the radial phone. As well as it to the vein, I'm going to go ahead and advance. Too bad. Okay. So now let's look at the bifurcated area right there. Tip of the cat that is right, right there at the junction where. Uh, so I'm gonna pull back just a little bit. So as you can see, it's the tip is actually terminating in the smaller vein. Post bifurcation, not pre. You see that by the flush only showing up on the right part of the vein and not the left. The right vein and not the left vein. See right there? So the tip of the catheter ended into that smaller vein on the right. So we're gonna pull back by, by a centimeter. Now it's gonna be pulled back to this junction. There we go. And now you should see flushing in both both veins. Beautiful. So now the medication is going to be distributed and diffused between these two veins and then it'll conjoin to this big AC right here. So right here. And then it looks like it's going to diffuse again. So there's a lot of diffusion and, and dilution just from stung a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Hope it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Is it better than expected or worse? Neither. <laughs> it, 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 it was just <laughs> kind of like somebody else sticking a needle in there. Yeah. Want to do it again? <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> I love that answer. You could say no. All right, looks good. I just want to wrap it up in a way that it's not going to too much tension up against and so because of its angle I'm going to wrap it in a way that it's not going to it's not going to try to flatten onto the arm, but follow the curvature of that of that bone. There we go. Remember, you don't have to flatten that hub every time. You want it to be at a good, respect the angle of the insertion, even for the dressing. And we're going to flush the rest of that blood in there too. Good. How I do that is by tape down the dress itself. 
There you go.